We wanted to put together some of the demos. I have so many teachers ask me if I can model the demos for them. And so we decided to put together this video series. And so this is the first one. So we are going to model some of the demos we do. Decided to start with a very easy one because I've had some teachers ask me about this. And it's the cloud in the bottle. We're just going to use a two liter bottle. I've done it with one liter bottles. I've done it with water bottles this size. I've done it with larger bottles. Any bottle will work. We want to use a plastic bottle. We don't want to take a chance of anything exploding. And so safety first, or safety first. All you need basically to start off with is basically a little bit of water. So we'll put a little bit of water in here. And I just put a little bit in, enough to cover the bottom, and you're fine. You can swish that around. Now, we're wanting to make a cloud. And I used to use matches to do this, but that way we had a cloud nuclei. Because if we were just to pump this up, just water in here, and we were to add air pressure to it, then we wouldn't get a cloud because there's nothing for it to form on or to condense on. And so we need some sort of condense on. Teachers couldn't use matches. I always used a flame before. If you're in a high school, you should, should still be able to do that, and you want to do that. That way you get a cloud nuclei. You can discuss that with the students. But for our younger kids, we just want them to understand clouds are made from water. And so what we'll do is we'll put some isopropyl alcohol in. And so evaporation rate very low. It'll start evaporating, give us something for the condensation to form on. And uh, just dump a little bit in. Not, I didn't dump as much of this as I did water. No big deal. And then I got number four rubber stoppers I ordered. And I took a really small drill bit, like a 3, 30 seconds, something like that. And I drilled a little hole in there. And that way I could shove a basketball needle in. One of the things used to inflate the needles. And so that's what I used there. Oops. Oops, sorry, I have one on here. I forgot to throw that one. And then a ball pump. I like using a ball pump like this because then we have kiddos involved in the actual demo. So we put this in here. Now I like to hold this part. I'll have one of the students hold the bottom and I'll have the other student start pumping it up. Then I'll ask the class, hey, do you see the cloud? Do you see the cloud? The other kids saw them be like, uh, yeah, yeah, I think I do. I mean, uh, we'll be like, well, not much of a cloud if there is. It's not very impressive, isn't it? But now it is. And so we have that nice cloud going on. But this is lower pressure now since we took the top off. What happens when we have a high pressure front coming in? Let's talk the real world then, right? High pressure. Huh. The cloud goes away. High pressure can hold more water vapor. And so we clears up. And so we can do this again. Pop it and we get the cloud. And we can do this several times. One thing to do, if we, if we start doing it a lot of times, every once in a while you just have to kind of shake it up a little bit just to get the water flowing all around, right? Now, if you're doing this for a science night or something like that, parent science night at the school, then after a while you want to add like a little more, more alcohol or a little more water. It's going to take a while before you get to that point because as you can see, smoke rings, but as you can see it's going to uh, keep going and going. You can repeat this. And it's really nice to be able to talk about it at this point. Very simple. The kids can do it. They can run this type of pump easily. You can have two of them do it. I went and I sent a lot of kits out to teachers. And this is not one of my kits. And so I bought at the, one of the local marks. I bought one of these foot pumps. Because I thought this would be much more compact. And I can send this out easier. The only thing is if you're using this type, watch right here for fingers. Kids want to hold that down so bad. Well, they're going to pinch their fingers, so make sure that you're make sure you're not letting the kids pinch their fingers if you use a type like this. It'll work the same though, same thing. Bump it up, pop the top off, and you have a cloud. Quite simple. One of the teachers, I had a couple teachers ask me because there's 50% isopropyl, 70%, 91%. Which ones to buy? Isopropyl alcohol is cut or diluted with water. It doesn't matter which one you buy. I usually just buy the 91 because it's a higher percentage. It's cheap, it's a higher percentage, and it has almost twice as much isopropyl alcohol than your 50% because it's 50% water. And so we don't have to put as, we'll have to put more of the alcohol in and use more if we use a lower percentage because it's already been divided. And so that's basically the cloud in a bottle. Very simple activity, easy to do, very low cost, 
and it's very excellent visual. Now we go to real world and we can start comparing so easily when we hear the weather front. If it's going to be high pressure, what's it going to be? What happens when we increase pressure in the bottle? And so this is real world applications to something that students can easily get a hold of now. Thanks.